The Arkansas Cinema Society has elevated the filmmaking scene right here in Northwest Arkansas and across the state. And joining us now, we've got Cody Ford, as well as filmmaker Spade Robinson joining us. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you and your time. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yes. Happy to be here. So remind us, Cody, about ACS. I know I just kind of set you up. You're a game changer here in Northwest Arkansas. Well, yeah, well, we, do, we do what we can. I mean, <laughs> we, we definitely see us be, being beyond us. There's so many great festivals and filmmakers out there. But our goal at ACS is to, you know, just work to promote the filmmaking ecosystem through the tenets of watch, learn, and make. And so obviously watching, we do a lot of screenings around the state. We have Filmland every fall. Uh, learning, we do a lot of um, you know, uh, workshops and things. Sure. And that allow, you know, helps get people trained to go out and make films. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we love what we do and you know, we love working with up and coming filmmakers like Spade. Yeah. And speaking of being an up and coming filmmaker and having an opportunity to do a table read of your play coming up, what can you tell us about Late Bloomers? So Late Bloomers is a grounded horror film that we're making in Northwest Arkansas. It's about two best friends who go on a road trip. One friend makes it, the other one doesn't. So it's a little bit of a, a dark film, um, but it's a film that we designed to be an affirmation for life as well. Yeah. So the table read is a live reading of the entire script where you can experience the entire thing from beginning to end. I love that. Now you, ha you had so many uh, roles in this film, I couldn't even put them all on the <laughs> screen because you're writer, director, and an actor in the movie. What what was that that's process right. like for you? Well, I started out as an actor. I was a theater major in undergrad, and that's the world I thought I was going to live in until I went to film school um, and fell in love with being behind the camera as well. So coming up with those skills one by one sort of created the combination of uh, writer-director as well as actor. Sure, yes. So this is a horror film, and maybe this is an odd question, but where did you draw inspiration from for this movie? Well, the, the inspiration for the film is actually not even really related to the genre. Um, the team and I, who've been working together for a while on several different projects, have experienced a number of losses professionally and personally as it relates to suicide, which is one of the themes of the film. Sure. So that became the thematic thrust of the movie. Um, we see it as a suicide prevention film, um, but we also took time to figure out the type of movie we wanted to make, and we're very inspired by the thrill of horror, um, and ultimately what horror films can do in the box office, and it's really important for us to do good business with this film as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you have an opportunity, our audience has an opportunity to hear this table read that's gonna be at Theater Square. What are the absolutely. details there? When is it happening? So it's happening this coming Saturday at okay. 1 o'clock. Uh, we're excited to partner with Theater Squared as, where, as well as Arkansas Cinema Society to put this on. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be upstairs in the rehearsal space, and we look forward to uh, having people there. Um, and for the registration, um, you can go directly through ACS for that. Yeah, yeah. just go to ArkansasCinemaSociety.org, and we can get you registered. And you know, if, if you forget about it, don't have time, maybe you just want to show on up, I bet we won't turn you away. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? But we do prefer people to register if they're able, just so we can kind of judge who's coming. Sure, absolutely. Always good to have a head yeah. count, know how many people to expect. Um, so this event obviously happening this weekend. Looking forward on the calendar for ACS. What do you have coming up? Anything we should be excited about or know about? Yes, Filmland is coming in October. We are still working those details out. We're going to have a few big things for sure. You know, it's tricky with the strikes happening and everything. Sure. But uh, we, we think we're going to still be able to create an event that is really dynamic and really engaging and gets people excited. How many years have so. you been doing the Filmland event? Wow, I think film, the first film I believe was 2018. Okay, actually. so you've been doing this for a while. What yeah. can people expect at, at that event? Is there an opportunity to see films as well as meet yeah. people? Yeah, Filmland takes place down at uh, Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts. It's our first year there. They've got this fantastic new theater. And so that will be going on, and we will be you know, bringing films in from some of the bigger festivals like Sundance, Tell Your I mean, We brought in a lot of films that over the years that went on to get nominated for Oscars. And we've brought in filmmakers like Jessica Chastain and Adam Driver and people like that. So you know, it's a, a very cool event, but we also do Filmland Arkansas, and that is where we get the opportunity to showcase films that are either Arkansas made or like Arkansas adjacent. Like sure. you know, some of the crew or the director, they may be living off, but they're in Arkansan at heart. So right. that's a very exciting thing that we love to do there during that. But there will be more information coming. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff, or our website, as I said, Arkansas. ArkansasCinemaSociety.org. ArkansasCinemaSociety.org. That's the place also where you can go to register for the table read of Late Bloomers. It's happening this Saturday. Is that right, Spade? Absolutely. Yeah. Can't wait to see uh, our audience out there. I'm sure you're going to have a great time. Thank you both so much for joining us, filling us in. Yeah, Sounds like a great you. event. Yeah.